In 2024, Surfshark VPN is gonna begin its sixth year in the VPN industry. Since it's a relatively young provider, it's kind of weird to think of it as a top provider. I mean, a lot of the other options are over a decade old. Okay, today I'm gonna to take a look at my entire experience in this Surfshark VPN Review 2024, and I'm gonna cover all three years that I've been using it myself and talk about all the updates, all the changes, and all the growth that Surfshark went through. Okay, let's begin by opening the app and taking a peek inside. This UI has actually changed a lot over the three years that I've been using Surfshark, but that's not the most drastic change it went through. Still, this screen shows two of the most recent changes that I want to address in this review of Surfshark VPN, namely the dynamic multi-hop and dedicated IP features, both introduced in 2023. The former is the direct upgrade of the multi-hop feature that I haven't used that much before since it only provided preset location combinations, none of which I found particularly appealing. But now dynamic multi-hop allows me to chain any two servers together for additional comfort and security, which is way better and closer to what NordVPN already offers. So when adding dedicated IP, Surfshark surprisingly made it better than competitors. It offers more than a dozen locations, while VPNs like PureVPN or CyberGhost are limited to seven locations. Bigger choice leads to more possibilities and that's just natural. But these two are not the only features that changed. Not so long ago, Surfshark also upgraded its specialty feature for blocking ads, trackers, and malicious links online, CleanWeb, to version 2.0. Now, CleanWeb also monitors if the websites that you're visiting have been breached recently and whether it was reported as containing malware. So this update also makes CleanWeb closer to the level of NordVPN's threat protection, which is capable of even blocking malware in downloads. So the only downside is that you'll need a Surfshark extension to take advantage of these innovations. As if that wasn't enough for recent changes, the Surfshark alternative ID feature also launched in 2023 following the growing trend of identity fraud in the US. And this server can generate a fake persona for you to use online, complete with a burner email and email forwarding. So I've been using it since release and it's honestly been game changing. I mean, to no longer have any profiling done on me, even on Google, it's crazy. So one of the downsides though, is that you do need a Surfshark One bundle to use Alternative ID, which is a bit more pricey than a regular subscription. But hey, if you want the benefits of this bundle or just wanna try it out, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. And I'll leave a link with the best Surfshark coupon code I could find in the description below. Okay, talking about the Surfshark One bundle, it's not a recent addition, but it is one of the reasons that I use Surfshark as much as I do. I mean, after all, it's one of the rare opportunities to have all my security, including an antivirus, a breach alert, and a secure browser search in one place. So this antivirus, while not as advanced as other standalone features, have been audited by the AV Test Institute as well, showing not ideal, but really decent results compared to the price of the service. So I've been talking about audits in almost every review of Surfshark VPN and for a good reason. Take last year's no logs policy audit, for example. Not only is that a good practice to pass those audits, but Surfshark really needed it. You see, some users were still worried that Surfshark abandoned the privacy-friendly jurisdiction of the British Virgin Islands in favor of the Netherlands jurisdiction following the merger between Nord Security and Surfshark. This no logs policy audit aimed to alleviate their worries and it definitely made me more confident in Surfshark's privacy focus. But Surfshark has shown this focus for a while now, it was the second VPN after ExpressVPN to switch to RAM only servers completely. And if you don't know, these servers get completely wiped after every restart. So they retain no user data 
And Surfshark went out of its way to switch its entire server grid to diskless servers. Since I started rambling about servers, let's take a look. Is Surfshark VPN good at keeping a wide server selection and does that help with streaming? To begin with, Surfshark's server count almost doubled since I picked it up in 2020 from about 1,700 servers to over 3,200, and almost 40 more countries became accessible for Surfshark users. It means I have way more content to choose from, more than NordVPN or most other big names in the industry. It also means that there are more free servers, so I don't have to reconnect often searching for less crowded servers. Still, I did have to do that a couple of times in peak hours, but I mean, that's hardly a notable downside. What I do wanna note is that Surfshark streaming services in India are also accessible. For instance, local Disney Plus Hotstar, and no, it's not relevant because I like Bollywood stuff, although what if I did? but it's because India has banned VPNs in 2022, forcing most providers to close their physical servers. So while Surfshark did the same, it established some virtual servers in India instead, not opposing the new laws directly, but still providing locals with an opportunity to access free internet and worldwide content, which I respect. I wanna also respect speed and its relation to torrenting in this Surfshark review 2024 as well. So currently Surfshark uses WireGuard, a widely adopted tunneling protocol known for very fast speeds. Most top providers like CyberGhost, IPVanish or ProtonVPN also use this protocol. And NordVPN even deployed its proprietary Nordlinks, which is based on WireGuard. While this means Surfshark is fast, it also leads to the realization that most VPNs are capable of holding fast speeds. So while Surfshark is one of the fastest VPN providers, the difference between it and most other top VPNs is not that significant, but it's undeniable that it has fast speeds and that it comes in handy for torrenting. Notably, Surfshark has no restrictions for P2P file transfer. It allows download on all their servers. So the combination of a wide range of countries, unrestricted downloads and fast performance I mean, that's a high end for most torrenting users. So probably the most important question for users is, is Surfshark worth it 2024? I gotta say, yes. Okay, in my experience with Surfshark in the past three years, all the security and privacy and accessibility benefits of Surfshark just make for a great value when combined with its surprisingly low price point. Plus, there's virtually no limit on how many devices you can run with one account. So if you feel like sharing with friends or family or a dude on the street, it's just the perfect option. And nothing stops you from just giving it a try. I mean, it's got a seven day free trial, so that might not be enough to try everything you want, but with a money back guarantee, you have a Surfshark 30 day refund. If you want it, that's gotta hit the spot. So. If you have any further questions about Surfshark or you think I missed a significant change compared to Surfshark Review 2023, leave a comment, let me know. And hey, don't forget about that like and subscribe button either. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.